Hi everyone, this is Nilan Malik from Kolkata, India and in this lesson for introduction to music production I'll be teaching you how to use automation in the DAW software Reaper. So let's get started. You can, uh, first you need to add tracks and well, I'll just insert a new track, record something This is a sample audio. Okay, and I'll disarm it. And let's say we can see the wave structure over here. And in module uh, in automation, what I do is I decide to change the levels. I feel that I don't want to make all of the audio in the same tone, in the same quality, in the same intensity. Maybe I want to hear some parts of it with a little uh, less volume. I would hear some parts of it louder. I would hear some parts coming from the right. I would hear some parts coming from the left. And I do that using automation. You can find global automation option over here. And if you just expand this, you have the automation setting over here. So you can see track envelopes automation. And right now the automation mode which is selected is to trim and read. Uh, I'll have to click on this, make sure that I also make it right so that I can change it. Now these are the track envelopes. I want to look at volume, I want to look at pan, I can look at the width of it and many other aspects of it as you can see. So let's be concerned only with volume at this time because of the length of the audio and we can practice the rest with uh, in your own time, in your own pace. Okay, so this option has come and I have to arm this uh, for recording. Now let's just hear the track once more. Let me just uh, zoom it a little bit. This is a sample audio. This is a sample audio. Okay, so you can see that this part is... Uh, let me turn off the grids. So you can see that this part tells the words this is. I want to lessen the volume of it. So let's just come to this. I can bring this up or I can bring this down. Okay, I can set up the points. And here, from this point, I want to make it go up, or I, I want to make it go down. So, I want to make this go down, and I want to make it go down very quickly. So, I'll make sure that the line is almost vertical. If I wanted to fade it out gradually, then I'll tilt it. So, here we go. A sudden drop in volume. I want to bring... I want to remove the change, and this is what I do. Okay, let's just undo this. Let's bring it over here and we have another parameter. Okay. And now you can listen. This is a sample audio. This is a sample audio. Okay, so, so it doesn't really say much, but you get the idea and you can practice this with audio tracks. This is particularly useful if you want to bring in some uh, bass performances and you want to raise their levels up and down. You can do that quite easily. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Thank you.